Welcome to the Rexies. Recap. Rob, what are the Rexies and why do we need a recap? The Rexies are the Sport RX Award, also known as the Rexies, colloquially. More colloquially known as the Rexies. The Rexies is basically the Oscars of the optical industry where Sport RX throws a red carpet black tie event. Well, in previous years before the pandemic, uh, used to be in Las Vegas, and eventually it's gonna be held here again in our event studio, but it's basically a big party for the industry. It's an award show where we're thanking all our brand partners for all the amazing work they do, all the innovations they have, all the amazing products, and we celebrate together and bring the industry together and have a lot of fun and get to wear tuxedos. We talk about what works, we talk about what people like, we also try to do what we can to influence the industry in the direction that we feel like there might be some blind spots. We also have a lot of entertainment involved. Uh, there's been some poetry before, there's been some music before, we have our own house band, No Spring Hinges, sports designers if you're listening, No Spring Hinges. Uh, <laughs> but this year we have kind of taken it to online, we were hoping to do it in person, but. Delta. So uh, uh, director, writer, screen producer, <laughs> uh, Eyeglass Tyler has made some amazing sketch comedy videos with the help of a lot of people from Sport RX and the amazing video team we have. So there is a longer version of the actual Rexies 4, the 2021 Rexies video. Uh, if you want to spend some time and have some fun and get some laughs and really kind of get to learn our quirky personalities or what makes us tick a little bit here more at Sport RX, I'd highly recommend grabbing a beverage, maybe popping some popcorn and uh, hooking up your YouTube to a big TV and sitting down yeah. on the couch and watching that video. Uh, a lot of energy and effort went into that one. Uh, thank you everyone who helped so much with that. But I think it might be time to get into the first category. Yes, so we're gonna try to be a little more concise with this. For those of you who are interested in the products, you want us to get straight to the point, that's what this is for. Check out the more long form one. If you want a little more entertainment, we really tried to up the entertainment factor. Uh, check that out, hopefully you enjoy it. But let's get into this right now. No more gilding the lily, as they say. What would be the first category? People's Choice Award. So the people have spoken with the People's Choice Award. This I think is one of my favorite categories because we're literally giving the power to the people. What we did is we went on social media, we had a fun bracket, essentially bracket uh, experience where people get to choose their favorite frames and whittle it down to a winner. Yeah, we have some amazing contenders that made it to the top four. Ray-Ban Wayfair, of course, the ever famous Oakley Flak 2.0 XL, the Heatwave Vice, and one of your personal favorite frames, the 100% Cedric, which is Great. highly RXable. Um, yeah, and it was a March Madness type of thing and social media got involved and we got tens of thousands of votes, which was really humbling and really cool. And we came down to the winner. The Heatwave Vice. An amazing frame, definitely worth winning, I think, especially when you consider that it is available in other factors. You can get it in its standard form for everyday use. You can also get it in an ANSI rated form, which is for safety rated use. And an XL for people with big heads. An XL. Yeah, so uh, lots of ways you can get the Heatwave Vice. Really affordable, comes in RX. A Heatwave as a company is just blowing up and you gotta love that Palm Tree logo. It's pretty wow. right. Yeah, the people picked it. So congratulations, Heatwave, definitely an earned win. The next category we're going to be getting into is the optician's choice. All right, one of my favorites, the optician's choice, because we're... Opticians. Yeah, and a lot of people here at SportRx are ABO certified opticians. If you're watching opticians, hi, we love you. So this one is more about what we love to sell, what's working well for us, what's a solution piece, what's a go-to piece. And this year really is recapping what we've all gone through in the last year with supply chain issues and delays and ports closing and boats getting stuck in places. and Unreliability. And just trying to get beautiful glasses to all the beautiful people that are hopefully watching this video. So the award goes to pretty unanimously Maui, Maui Jim. Jim. And really the whole brand of Maui Jim right now is the optician's choice. So what we're trying to do and what we're trying to say is thank you Maui Jim for being on your game, for having the least amount of setbacks and delays and supply chain issues. If a customer needs something in a hurry, if quality is uh, gonna be uncompromised, we just point to Maui Gym all day, every day because they're making our lives really, really easy. And people are loving them and they're coming on time and they're great and 
What else can we say about that? Not just on time, incredibly fast. Yeah, like, I feel like if their turnaround time got affected at all, they went from like two days to four days. Yeah, like. Just so fast and so reliable, really good quality. People love them when they get them. So yeah, thank you, Maui Jim. We love selling them. People love wearing them. Thanks, Maui. Aloha. So thank you and congratulations, Maui Jim. Our next category is uh, the Innovation Award. Time to innovate. The Innovation Award. You can look at this table and tell that there are very different pieces of eyewear on this table. This is a unique one and a little, is a little more broad. It allows us to, to uh, appreciate and acknowledge different elements of eyewear. Rob, what do you have to say about the Innovation Award? Really, this is rewarding companies and brands and products that are pushing our industry a little bit more forward, just pushing things along a little bit, doing something radically different, something really cool, something really unique, kind of uh, taking a risk a little bit and seeing what sticks and what works. So, um, you know, we got some kind of crazy funky stuff and we have these Maui Jim blue light lenses on here because you don't think this is pushing the envelope a little bit, but really this is one of the only lenses that I've seen that truly does help protect against blue light, but you can't tell. It doesn't look like it. There's no yellow, there's no blue, there's no um, indigo, there's no iri there's no violet, there's nothing kind of happening. They just look like normal glasses, yeah. but they do a wonderful job in front of the computer screen. So uh, thank you, Maui Jim, for pushing us forward, trying to get the aesthetics into protection. And then uh, why don't you tell us about that Kato? I mean, you can't not think about innovation <laughs> when you look at the Kato. This is insane. It's one solid piece, which yeah, that has existed, but when you look at everything about the Kato, it is unreal how they were able to do this. You even have a nose guard that hasn't existed before. That is something I've never seen in eyewear before where there is a nose guard and it is actually the lens really bold, really unique, kind of goes back to the roots of Oakley as being a- Innovator? Innovator. And so then we have a snow goggle on here. We have the Smith 4D mag. This has been out for a little while, but if you look at this again, we have an innovation. We have something that I haven't seen in any other goggle, this bird's eye view. It's a really unique goggle. It is something that uh, that only Smith offers. Yeah, right now only Smith does anything like this and trying to solve the problem of when you're looking down the mountain, a lot of times the frame is in the way. So they've actually made the goggles curve, adding another dimension, the 4D, so that there is more lens where you need it and less frame where you need it. And because of that, Smith is actually the winner of the Innovation Award. Congratulations, Smith. What a fine product. And also, they look super cool, so that doesn't hurt. So yes, again, congratulations to Smith. Next up, we are going to be talking about our Versatility Award. This is, uh, this is kind of a fun one. Uh, Rob, I want you to explain it from your point of view. I love this one. This one makes me excited. This is, the award is going to a frame. What we're trying to talk about here is a pair of glasses that works really well in a lot of different situations. So something you can wear on the bike, off the bike, something you can do a morning uh, 5K in and then hang out and have brunch in afterwards. So you don't have to switch pairs of glasses. Something that doesn't look overly sporty, but works great while doing a sport, but also looks good. Something you can sweat in, something you look cool in. They're versatile, they work all the time. Yeah. That was a lot of explanation. That was, and one thing that you're missing that's important to us here at Sport RX is also they're very versatile in terms of what kind of prescriptions they cater to. All of these are six bases and they can all handle a very wide range of prescriptions and are our go-tos for stronger prescriptions who need that versatile element in their frames. Nice, why don't you uh, name them off? Yeah, so we have the Wiley X Helix. This guy actually gets a bonus for also being safety. So if you have a need for safety ratings, want the safest thing possible, the Helix is amazing. Then next we have the Nike Maverick RGE. This is a part of a whole family of frames. This is the RGE version. And then we have the native Wells. And then we have the uh, ever amazing Oakley Mainlink. Can't ever lose with the Oakley Mainlink. And again, they don't lose, they win. So the uh, Rexy goes to the Oakley Mainlink. This one also comes in two sizes. So talk about versatile. You can get them in a lot of RXs. You can wear them in a lot of different conditions and you can also get them in two different sizes. So the winner is the Oakley main link. And one shout out, the Wells actually is also available in an XL. 
So something worth noting, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Extra versatility. Noted. Noted. Yeah. All right. So congratulations, Oakley. Very well done. And the next award we're going to is the Fit Solution Award. The Fit Solution, this is a newer category for us, and it gives us a little bit of wiggle room to acknowledge other fit solutions. This year, we're acknowledging larger fits because unfortunately, there can be kind of a blind spot to that. A lot of brands don't give as much love as we would like to see to larger fits, and so we're celebrating them. We got some amazing nominees for the Fit Solution for this year. We got the Maui Gym Big Wave, great name. We got the Wiley X Boss, maybe even a better name. We got the Costa Fish and we got the Zeal Incline, which I like climbing hills and then coming down them really fast. So I like, I like the name of all of these, uh, but there could only be one winner. And this year's winner is safety rated, is unbelievably comfortable, has a removable foam seal. Did I give you enough hints, everybody? It's the Wiley X Boss, it's you guys. It's the Wiley X Boss. It's amazing. <laughs> it's comfortable. It's safety rated. It has a removable foam seal. It's just an awesome pair of glasses. And thank you so much, Wiley X, for thinking of us with big brains. It's just a big case for a big brain. That's big right. head. Yeah. And don't forget, it also comes with that T-Peg strap, which is awesome for, I mean, motorcycle use is honestly a, a big use for these guys, especially thanks to that foam, and then you get that, that kind of goggly effect. These are pretty versatile too in that regard. Really awesome frame. So again, congratulations Wiley X on an amazing frame. The next award that we're going to be getting into is the best collab. Tyler, I'd collab with you anytime. I can't wait for it to happen again. It happens all the time, actually. All right, we got another fun new category for us this year. It's best collab. So a collab or a collaboration is one of our favorite sunglass brands, works with either a pro athlete or another brand that doesn't make glasses, and they kind of combine efforts and make something really cool, really unique, usually an athlete inspired like custom design, custom pair of glasses for that athlete. And the winner this year is the 100% Tatis Collection. They're so rad, we love them, they're gold, so obviously I have a little bit of bias there, uh, but they're just a fantastic collab. And in fact, uh, it was the clear winner. It was just an amazing pair of, uh, the whole collection, the whole thing was rad. That's all well and good, Rob, but where are they? Yeah, you were looking very confused. They're, I told you, they're amazing, they sold out. We didn't even keep a pair for marketing purposes. We did a <laughs> video with a one and that one even got boxed up and people wanted them, they're just gone, they're sold out. So 100%, maybe uh, on that next new Peter Sagan one, send us a few more or make a few more. I mean, I guess that's part of the deal, they're limited yeah. edition. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it could still be more but limited. And I will acknowledge and like to acknowledge that this isn't the first time they've done an amazing collab. There are also those amazing Peter Sagan collabs that they have done. So they are doing really well in that department. Keep it up 100%. And thank you, congratulations. The next category is best design. Best design. What does that mean? It means that there is a design intent that the manufacturer has an intent with their design and it works. It just works. Everyone loves it. It is fully functional. It is work, it works. Yeah, there's like an aspect to each one of these uh, nominees that really makes a difference, that really solves a problem, that really is a fixes a need that's out there that consumers need, that customers need, that patients need, and it's either adds a lot of comfortability or more versatility, or it's just one piece of design, somebody somewhere drew something that we wanna recognize. So um, one of the first ones here is the Wiley X Youth Force collection. And for me, it's just the exact design of the whole thing, how functional it is, how versatile it is, how many different ways you can want, wear one pair of glasses. You can do it just plain, almost like sunglasses. You can add a little T-peg strap, strap it down, the arms come off, you can turn them into goggles. I mean, one design, so many uses. Kind of almost also been in the versatility one, but uh, the design was so good, we threw it in design. Why don't you tell us about this nose pad? I know you love it. 
I love the unobtainium saddle nose bridge. I love saddle style nose bridge in general because it helps to disperse the weight a little better, more evenly across your nose, gives you a little more comfort, also more grip because there's more contact points. This is also something that we're seeing a lot in newer Oakley frames and I love it. And part of this is also to encourage these manufacturers to continue making these things that really are working. Well, what about the Pro Series though, Rob? Pro Series was just genius. So basically, Costa took their best-selling frames and added some really uh, high-tech, high-functional aspects to them, like more grip on the temples and adjustable nose pads. Here at SportRx, we absolutely love adjustable nose pads. There's venting and everything. It just makes them uh, a better pair of glasses. So why not take the best pair of glasses from several years ago, add new technology, new design work, and just make them that much better? Better. And because of that, the winner is the Costa Pro Series. Tyler knows everything about the Pro Series. It's amazing. I am really excited that Costa is the winner because they totally deserve it. They took frames that people already love and they just made them better. They upgraded the grip to make them more grippy. They did something that I think is the, the most exciting, which is adjustable nose pads. Amazing, I love adjustable nose pads. It's something that you don't see often on plastic frames. And what's cool about that is that it isn't just that you get a little better, more comfortable, more custom fit. It also gives you more control over fogging. And while we're talking about fogging, you have to note that the nose pads are vented. They also have sweat channels, moisture channels built into the temples. There is a design in the frame that allows moisture to wick off of the backside of the lens. I could go on and on. It's an amazing upgrade and I hope that we see not only more of their core frames upgraded, but also some new styles in this Pro Series. It's as if a designer did their best work. All right, so next is going to be uh, an amazing category that we're all excited about. Best new release. You've been waiting for it. Here it is. Best new release. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. These are frames that are new releases that have just right out of the gate been absolutely killing it. They're new, they're awesome, they're selling well, we love them. I mean, what, what else can we say about that? Which, what do we got here, Tyler? So we have the Wiley X Ovation, we have the Nike Show X3, we have the Cyrus optical which is uh so the cyrus if you're familiar with spy cyrus is not new but the optical is they did redesign it and then we have uh if you remember just from moments ago the fantail pro from costa <laughs> spoiler alert the winner is the spy cyrus optical and what i love about this frame and actually this whole new collection from spy is that they made optical glasses, eyeglasses, inspired by their best-selling sunglasses and uh, renamed them. And you can kind of tell that they're like the cousin or the little brother, they're a family member. But something I especially love is most of them are made for men with really big heads, which I am one of. And these are actually almost too big for my big head. So thank you, Spy, for thinking of the biggest brains out there, the biggest heads out there. And they're just coming some fantastic colors. You gotta love this gray. They're just, uh, just such rad glasses. Um, spring hinges, which is okay on optical glasses, just not on sport glasses. And uh, can't say enough about them. They're selling off the shelves as well. Um, thank you, Spy, thank you so much. Spy, I think, should get a little bit of love because they are, as we mentioned earlier, not always do bigger headed friends get the love they deserve. Spy is really good about that. They've kind of made a niche about that right yeah. now. Yeah, it's really rad. Thank you, Spy. Why don't we talk some more about, I mean, I think we definitely covered why we love the Costa Fantail Pro. All of the things we mentioned there apply here as well as a nominee because it was the specific frame we were given love to, the Show X3. My favorite thing is the venting in the frame. Uh, I have trouble fogging up. I do a lot of really early morning mountain bike rides where it's like kind of humid and you're climbing up a big hill and just it's really hard for things not to fog up. And I'll take any ammunition I can get against anti-fogness. So the venting in the frame for me is one of the reasons why it's out here. Plus it's selling really well. It's the best new release. It's new and it's 
released. It's killing it. And then the Wiley X Ovation, a really good, again, versatile frame. Just because it's new doesn't mean it can't be versatile. And it is safety rated as all Wiley X things are. So if safety is important or a necessity to you, you cannot go wrong with Wiley X. And this is just a great addition to their lineup because it is a more kind of everyday aesthetic. Yeah, I'm also just really excited about the next category because you are my trendsetter. And the next category is best trendsetter. What are you doing there, Tyler? Oh, just taking a selfie because these things are trendy as heck. Yeah, we are talking about the best trendsetters, really the best Instagrammable uh, story glasses. These are just the things that you're seeing yeah. out there that are really hot, that all the cool kids are wearing or wanting to be wearing, all the pro athletes, all the influencers out there. And we want to just give some love and recognition to the brands that are just making hot, cool, really on trend things. Get it? Trendsetter. I think you can't not be cool with wearing any of these. I mean, I could still try. You could still try. You can always do your best. The winner of the Trendsetter Award is the Ray-Ban Hexagonal. I think it's a totally deserved win because it doesn't matter who's wearing it, it looks really cool. It it really captures that classic Ray-Ban essence of being classic but still modern, still cool, still bold, even though overall it is a pretty low profile frame. There's like no frame to it, it's all lens, but it's that lens shape, it's that flat lens, it's that cool aesthetic. You can't go wrong. That's why it's the winner. Simple, clean, but somehow noticeable. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Another pair to mention is the Oakley Kato. These are loud. These are in charge. These are everywhere. These are innovative, if I may. Um, I've been seeing these all over my feed. They are very bold. Definitely trendy, for sure. I mean, obviously, it's more of a sports scenario trendy, but it, it definitely it hits that mark. transcends. It's it everywhere. Transcends trend. It transcends. Next up, the Rain Bastion. Definitely a close contender. I love, again, it, it does kind of hit that classic yet modern aesthetic. I really like the mix of materials. I'm a big fan of That's a plastic. That's what I love about them. A good plastic frame front with the metal bridge and just some minor details like in the temple design. Really, they hit the mark. And we obviously can't forget about the Maui Gym 2420. Definitely not to be overlooked. I will say that for me in particular, this really suits my aesthetic. I love a good round frame. And I, maybe that's what it is. Maybe the trend, you know, outside of the sportiness is classic yet still modern. And it, it just is more of that timeless I think, effect, but they really went all out. You have the titanium nose bridge, you have the very, very low profile temples, almost not there, but that big, bold, round frame front. They look fantastic on you. You need to get a pair of those in that color. We're gonna make that happen. All right, we gotta go on to the next category and that's going to be durability. The most durable, the toughest, Ooh. the hardest to break. Ooh. All right, here it is, the Durability Award. If you're looking for the toughest, the meanest, the hardest to break, if you are sunglass Rob and you just break everything, or if you're my son, hi Henry, and you just break everything, these are glasses that are just really, really tough, really, really hard to break. Tyler, why don't you start us off? Yes, absolutely, the Julbo Explorer 2.0, definitely deserves a place on this table because, I mean, when you're Julbo and you are making the best mountaineering eyewear, you have to make it durable. There are no more extreme conditions that you will put a frame through than what mountaineering's. People are literally taking them up Everest. Like those are the glasses you take to the most extreme places on earth. So temperature changes and it's really a truly piece of equipment more than anything. Yes, absolutely. Mountaineers, mountaineers? I'm not sure. Anyway, awesome frame. I respect them either way. Yeah, you have to. The native Kodiak is another one. This is a frame that we just know holds up to just about anything and everything you can throw at it. Native's a great brand. They have everything you need really for sport use as well. Lots of venting, lots of grip. Awesome frame you get out of the Kodiak. And then of course, we have the Spy Cyrus. Let's call it the Spyrus. We don't have to call it that, but some people do. <laughs> Very durable. I mean, you have a ton of material here. It looks as durable as it is. You really aren't surprising anyone when this thing stands up against anything and everything. Also, it looks super cool. Also, very much Southern California, San Diego. So we love that. 
What about that frame, Rob? This is the Rudy Project Ride-On. It's been around for like ever and it's actually uh, the winner. So uh, no surprises left there. The Rudy Project Ride-On is winning most durable. I think I've been selling this pair of glasses since just about like 2007 or 2008. And if I sold you a pair of these back then, they're probably still working. What's amazing about this pair is just they're so tough. I actually had a customer literally bring them back after a truck ran over them. And all that happened is the lenses like flattened out and came back and we just had to get them new lenses. The frame held up to it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But one of the things that makes it so durable is the replacement um, parts. So you can change the nose pad, you can change the lenses, you can change the rubber on the temple. And all that's left is like this really cool hybrid metal plastic frame so uh, one pair of glasses it's gonna almost last a lifetime hopefully unless you're uh, Henry you'd still probably break these Henry <laughs> I love you boy um, they're just they just last forever so we have customers that have had them for 10 years and just keep replacing the lenses and the parts which maybe it's bad for business but hey we love you for holding on to your old stuff and reducing and re recycling and yeah, reusing. reusing all that. So uh, thank you so much, Rudy Project, for making just such a tough pair of glasses. Ooh. All right, the next category is... Kids Product of the Year. It's pretty self-explanatory. We went with Product of the Year because it isn't doesn't have to just be sunglasses or eyeglasses. It is eyewear Product of the Year. This one definitely is close to my heart, and I think I can speak for Rob his heart as well because we have little ones and we know how important it is to not only protect your kids vision and their sight as crucial as that is but also they look cool yeah i love all these glasses they all have a purpose they all have different fits they're just wonderful glasses this is great representation of a comp of companies making really good product that is good enough to be an adult product, if not sometimes even better, but it fits the little ones, the groms, the kids, the boys, the girls, uh, and they're just as active, if not more active than we are. So uh, thank you to all these brands for making amazing products. We got the Wiley X Fierce, which is an ASTM safety rated pair of glasses. If you're doing kind of sports like soccer and things like that, and you just really need that kind of sport safety pair of glasses. What I love about these is the versatility you can wear as goggles, you can wear them as glasses, pretty rad. And then we got the Jobo line, which is a rad pair of glasses, really kind of everyday lifestyle looking with some sport features and really good for those really small kids. I think this one's like even like four year olds, three year olds, five year olds. These are smaller yeah. than the rest of them. And then you got the um, ever popular tried and true Oakley Flak XS because it's really just the kids version of the best selling pair of sunglasses at Sport RX, the Oakley Flak 2.0. XL, and then the winner, my son's favorite, the Nike Dash. Makes you, you really, faster. Yeah, <laughs> you really can't go wrong with this. I mean, especially if you're looking for a good, straightforward wrapped sunglass, you can't go wrong. Amazing it, value. Amazing value, for sure. Because I mean, as parents, we know that that definitely matters. You're getting an incredibly durable frame that fits their smaller heads and is amazing for about as wide a range of activities and uses as you could consider. Yeah, so dash over to sportrx.com and get the Nike Dash for your little one. Heck yeah. Congratulations, Nike. Thank you for making an amazing frame. The next category we're gonna be talking about now is Women's Product of the Year. We are talking now about Women's Product of the Year. These, again, kind of self-explanatory products that are designed for women that are just done well. They work. I just want to give a little preamble about this category. It's been contentious, to say the least, in the past few years. SportRx is here to try and push the industry forward. The Rexies are here to kind of put the industry together and let us let let give us a voice also in front of everybody at the same time that we need better and more women specific products, especially in the sport world. So finally, the brands I think are finally kind of getting our drift and helping a little bit more and not surely. just pinking and shrinking it, but actually making more women specific sport needs. So we're really excited about that. We have some fantastic examples of that here on the table, but I'm just so excited and just so thankful that I'm just gonna spit it out. 
that the Anon uh, WM3 is the winner this year for Women's Product of the Year. Truly a ground up design for women, not just a smaller M3, but and not just a pinker M3, but really designed for women's faces, for women's head shapes. Um, they also do come in some really rad colors and it's just a fantastic goggle all around. So the WM3 this year is the women's product of the year. And uh, shout out to everybody in Burlington who helped make this. Thank you so much. We love these goggles. We're excited to sell them this upcoming winter. Oh, heck yeah. And they didn't take any shortcuts. It is just as good of a goggle as you're getting in the rest of their line. You still get the Magnatech lens security. You still get that MFI, which I absolutely love. Really solid goggle. But for those of you who don't know, when you say shrink it and pink it, it is essentially taking a man's style, a frame designed for a man, and you make it smaller, and you make it in more feminine colors. The idea behind this is that we want to celebrate brands who are actually thinking about women specifically and making things for women specifically, like the Nike Maverick Fierce. There is a whole line of the Maverick line that Nike makes, and it is this kind of athleisure style, good for more active lifestyles, good for more everyday use, and in a more women-friendly size and shape. Yep, and then next we got the Smith Caper, which uh, is just a fantastic pair of glasses. Comes in some really cool colors that aren't pink, and this is not a man's frame, just kind of slightly made for women but it's actually a women's frame and it's got some hidden grip on it so you can do a little bit more sports in it. Not really a pair of glasses made for running a marathon by any means, but a really great athleisure pair as well and that is the Smith Caper. Love those, awesome pair of glasses. And then another goggle. Yes, the Giro Lucy, yet again, a goggle design specifically with women in mind. There are some you know, aesthetic details that are you know, maybe more uh, style friendly for women, but also of course, it is going to fit a woman's face better because women's faces are different than men's faces, go figure. And so you get still as an amazing a goggle in the Lucy as Giro makes in all of their other top shelf goggles and so definitely deserves to be on this table. So congratulations to all the nominees and a special thank you again to Anon for that WM3. The next category is Men's Product of the Year. You've been waiting for it. We're getting into it. Men's Product of the Year. This is the best men's product of the year. This is our final category. These are our best selling favorite highest rated sunglasses that we carry. Tyler, why don't you kind of give us a little bit of each frame? A little rundown, why not talk about the frames? The Heatwave Vice, not the first time it's been on this table. We've already mentioned why, and for very good reason, it is here in the men's product of the year. And then we can't not talk about the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. It always tends to find itself on the table. Yeah, and then we got the uh, Deck Boss. You are the Deck Boss of my life, by the way, Tyler. Oh. And this is just a fantastic pair of glasses. Uh, don't be fooled by the name. You can wear these for many, many, if not every sport out there. Uh, great pair of glasses. And then another one that's near and dear to my heart is the Maui Jim Haleakala, kind of the big brother of the uh, Red Sands that I'm always wearing. But I just love Haleakala because I rode my road bike all the way to the tippity top and rode it back down. So that's not why it's here. It's a great pair of glasses, but I just wanted to mention that as well. Yeah. Tyler. It's no surprise who the winner is. They've won uh, every year. They've won every year, and they're probably gonna win again next year. It is the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. Why does it beat everything every year all the time? Except that it's the number one seller. But why yeah. is it the number one seller? Uh, yeah, so in the past, we've always done men's sport, and it always wins men's sport for very good reason, but it is just a, an amazing all-around men's frame. It definitely is sport-centric. But if you start to pay attention, you're gonna see this on a lot of faces out there. And it looks good in every scenario that you can think up to wear them. And also an amazing sport frame, but also near and dear to our heart, very RXable. 
Yeah, with the prism lens technology, with Oakley Authentic lenses, you can get pretty much every prism color in like 90% of prescription ranges that are out there. Like, it's just fantastic. It works amazing for cycling, mountain biking, running, fishing, golf. Like, it's just one pair of glasses that works so well in so many conditions. And like Tyler said, the designers really thought about our ability, didn't make the lens too big, didn't make the lens too small, and it just, continuously outsells everything. So for that reason, for how well it sells, for how little it gets returned, for how comfortable it is, for how RXable it is, for how fantastic it is, again, the winner is the Oakley FLAC 2.0 XL. Well-deserved. Congratulations, Oakley, once again. Well done. So that's it. This is our Rexy's recap. We wanted to do something that was a little more short form, let you know what the products are. If you are, again, looking for something with a little more entertainment factor, I do think you should check out our more long form Rexy's video because it's fun, but you're getting all of the product information here, all of the eyewear that we love, and honestly, uh, don't forget about subscribing. If you were already a subscriber, you probably are already pretty familiar with these frames. Yeah, uh, they are the best of the best of the best. That's why they were nominated for Rexy's categories. That's why they won. And these are glasses that we love, that we stand behind, that we think you should get. So uh, we do have a Rexy's page on our website as well if you just want to see all of that. Um, thank you so much for watching. We would love for you to like and subscribe and follow us on all the social medias. Uh, later. Later. I didn't like that. No, that was nice. <laughs> it was just. The next category is I forgot, so. <laughs> hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so congratulations 100%. Why did I not look at the next category? Congratulations, Costa. I didn't look at the next category. <laughs> Uh, should, should I do fake, fake uh, phone sounds? Another pair to mention are the Oakley Codas. Kato. <laughs> <laughs> we make the Coda. Kato, 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 ready? Yeah. Another pair. All right, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would. <laughs> Nothing would come of it. So we've been filming for a yeah. long time and we're losing right. our minds and wearing no, a good. sweater was a bad idea. Men's product of the year.